This is an ultrasonic levitator. Two transmitters facing each other send out waves of sound that humans can't hear. These opposing waves create a standing wave which has nodes of constant air pressure. Lightweight objects like these pieces of foam can get stuck in these nodes and levitate in midair. Sound waves are made by vibrating air particles that bump into each other. Rather than drawing all of the individual air molecules, many times we represent a sound wave by a sine wave, as pictured here. When you aim two opposing waves at each other, they interfere and their amplitudes add up, represented by the black line. However, they can also create a standing wave with nodes, represented by the red dots, or regions of constant air pressure. Circling back to our demonstration, we can now understand why the bits of foam seem to snap to certain locations and I can't get them to hover right next to or touching each other. They're getting stuck in the pressure nodes, and the distance between those nodes depends on the wavelength of the sound. In this case, that's about 8 millimeters, and the nodes are half a wavelength apart, or about 4 millimeters, which is about what we see here.